First Alert Weather Update is brought to you by Custom Engineering Heating and Cooling. Well, we're keeping an eye on the rain moving out of mid-Michigan this morning. We do have some drizzle still in place, so we still have raindrops on a lot of our area cameras right now. Roadways also a little wet for us still this morning. We'll more than likely stay damp as we go throughout uh, the rest of your day today. Here's a look over I-75 from our Vehicle City Harley-Davidson camera. Notice some raindrops kind of off and on there on the camera. We've got a little bit of drizzle falling, but we also have some wind out there as well. And that wind is uh, causing some issues for us this morning. We've got widespread gusts, 20 to 25 miles per hour, so that's keeping things pretty breezy. We had a cold front pass through uh, just several hours ago, changing our winds to the north and west. So not only is it a breezy wind, it's also a northwest wind, which means we're bringing down that cooler air into mid-Michigan. We've also had a few of those stronger gusts near 30 miles per hour, like there's a 28 uh, mile per hour gust for the most recent out of Flint. Now going throughout the day today, we hang on to that breezy wind. We hang on to it into the overnight hours and then we even hang on to it into your Sunday as well. So things stay breezy here for us in the forecast. Now for today, as we go through the daylight hours, we might have some off and on drizzle still uh, at play, but most of mid Michigan will be dry during the daylight hours until we go into the evening. Notice we're starting to light up some of the lake effect zones off to the north and west places like Houghton Lake seeing some showers move through everywhere else though, mostly on the quiet side until we go into the uh, after dark period. Now we're starting to see those snow showers move in, starting to see some activity there coming off the Saginaw Bay and parts of Lake Huron in the thumb. A little bit of activity activity up there also north of the bay. As we go into the overnight hours, we're now at 4 a.m. here. We see some more widespread activity. This is including the thumb. This is including the Tri-Cities, parts of the Bay Area, north of the Bay, as well as areas up towards Houghton Lake and then also down towards Owasso, Flint, and the Pier. And we're going to have a few waves as we go throughout the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning that'll bring these isolated flurries to places like the Tri-Cities, to places like Mount Pleasant, Elma, and Clare. But the majority of this activity, activity here will be focused in the thumb, down towards the Pier and Flint, also up by Houghton Lake. So we're really only looking at our lake effect zones for the majority of the snow that falls overnight into early Sunday morning. This is 9 a.m. here. Notice that this activity is focused in parts of Huron, Sanilac, Tuscola, Lapeer, and Genesee counties. Also just off to our north and west at this point uh, outside of Houghton Lake. But still, that's where we're expecting most of this um, snow to fall. And this is even still, uh, by the time we get into midday, still focused there in the thumb. So what does this look like as far as accumulations are concerned? You can see two zones here. One just to our north and west coming down from Lake Michigan and the other one coming off of the bay in parts of the thumb. So what we're going to be looking at here, generally speaking, is some lighter snow accumulations, one to two inches, but because of how warm our ground temperatures are, more than likely this snow does not fall and all stick at the same time. So we're expecting probably one to two inches of snow to fall, but not to stick at once because of those warm ground temperatures. So you might have some lighter accumulations, especially on elevated surfaces, but we likely don't see two inches actually on the ground at any one given time. So that's going to be for overnight into your Sunday morning. Things do dry out as we go later into the day on Sunday. And by the time we get to Monday, it's as if it never even happened. And we're looking at 50 again. We've got some sunshine dry conditions. Tuesday looks great as well. Temperatures uh, approaching the 60 mark for us. Uh, don't forget that we do spring forward as we go into the overnight hours tonight, but then by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday back into some rain chances, but still holding on to the 50s and even near 60. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.